Okay, seriously? This guy's still annoying to hit. So none of this sword has any cool effects. And this one's called Atlamilia. So I was assuming maybe it has something to do with you know all the Atla we're picking up. It would like get some kind of benefit or something. No, who knows? We'll never know. Onwards. This thing is powerful though, so letting us get more damage and everything. But I assume it'll stop once we get like to 90. Hey, we only got 10, it's fine, I don't even care. It'll probably go down once we get like a... Uh, 99 of every stat. Then it probably won't let us get any more damage. Check out my new and improved build up windmill! Ah, oh, we hit two birds with one stone there, nice. Very nice, yes. Oh, bye. Whee! Whee! Hello? More items for me to pick up. For free. Because I am an unfair individual who does not like to fight mimics or things that don't matter. It's probably the main reason I don't want to fight mimics in this game. They're not, they're not required to fight at all. I could skip them and be just fine. They don't really worth all that much ABS anyway. Plus I lose ABS on this floor so it don't even matter. What if my jump attack kills you? <laughs> Shit. Jump attack! Nope. Does about half. I think windmill is better for the for the AP, or not the APS, the stamina investment or the durability investment. Plus, windmill is the best skill in the game. Come on. Of course, it applies in other games and applies here. Like seriously. Oh my God! This is just asking for a windmill. Well, there you go. Super windmill attack. Hey, we got another John Father, nice. Super wooden mill attack. I mean, and it hits multiple times. I mean, what else could you ask for, really? I don't know what like what the damage formula is looking like on the windmill, but I just know that the damage is, is pretty damn nice. It's not, not really worth to worry about damage formulas in a game like this. Not like damage is very, you know. Not like formulas would probably be very uh, manipulable, and unlike other games where you can like boost your stats accordingly. Oh, hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Poor hermit crab. He just wanted to live, and that I did not let him live. Why are there so many mimics on this floor? Good lord. Okay, so we don't get that, we don't get the low durability effect anymore. It's like, obviously, because it's not the same sword. I was hoping we keep something similar to that. But I mean, then, yeah, I don't really like to use weapons at low durability as is, so... I guess it's best if I just, you know, we move past that. It's a weird layout, ain't it? Got a little bit of multi-tier switching here. Wow. You know, you know, go, go ahead and smash that crab for me. You gotta, you gotta swing your hammer. You know, actually, you know what? Ah, crap. 
Let me let me see what Ungaga can fight like. Let me see what this man can do. Okay, he got reach. This boy got reach. Now what's your charge of attack do? Oh, that drains durability like absolutely crazy. But it is cool. But all in all, he's not really nothing crazy special. It's just, you know, another melee character for the team. Another melee character, which I will be robbing of all weapons to feed into my super sword. That is my goal. I will build this sword into whatever its last form is. I don't care how many forms it has. It will get create finished by the end of this fucking game. Come here. Wait, did I lie? I think I lied. Unless I already have the stone key in my inventory. But I think uh, mimics might be required. Because uh, I definitely don't have that stone slab yet. And there's nothing but mimics left. In fact, this one particular Mimic is the only one left. He's the only one left of his time. Yeah, okay, I lied. Alright. I apologize for lying. I said Mimics were skippable, and I straight up fucking lied. Mimics are not skippable. They are if you're lucky, otherwise, you know, you have a floor full of Mimics, and, well, doesn't show. Cockiness knows no bounds, Dan. So you're gonna be killing everything anyway. No worries. I like how cool the sword design gets just as you go along. Well, look at it, that's a pretty clean sword, man. I like the colors on it. I imagine some backroom golems are probably gonna be like where all the EXP are. Damn it. That did zero? I didn't know you could actually do zero damage in the game. If it did zero, why the hell did it flinch me? I mean, it is a, it is a shockwave, so I guess the shockwave wouldn't necessarily doesn't necessarily hurt you, but can still you know, knock you down. Weird. That's definitely weird. You won't hear no complaints from me. been worse. So is it me or does, did, did, did the enemy seem weaker on this level though, like in the last level? Because the shipwreck enemies, those were actually threats. And now I'm just like, I'm not getting hit for any damage at all. Seems like when I actually do get hit. Which I mean, I try not to get hit in the first place. But the enemies just seem a little bit less threatening on this floor than they were on the last on the, I mean, last floor, last dungeon than they were on this dungeon. Super Windmill Attack! Ah, nice. Ow. Except for these guys. These guys hit quite hard. What do you think? My curiosity is starting to get the best of me again. Should I dare use my other backroom key or should I hold on to it? Because the game already told us what we're going to need to access the boss room. Oh, Jesus. Can we, can we just get rid of this guy? Goodbye. Gone. Gone. Just gone. Completely gone.
Like, I, I think I have the capability to do almost a thousand damage in, like, a uh, big box, please. Premium? See, this is why you got a small box. I don't know if the chicken would have been in a small box, too, but I always go small. Oh. The Dura loss from doing that. Good lord. And Gaga, like, seriously, the, your Dura, your Dura use on your weapon, it's insane. Calm down with that. Ah! Wait, that did nothing. Who are you again, Golem? Tornado attack! Gone. Hey, well, he came back. Dead. I stayed at what? Dead. What? I said dead! Jesus! Okay. Let's upgrade our weapon. Do we have everything ready to go? Yes, yes, yes. Upgrade. Let's go. Alright. Guess we'll feed another gem into it. I'll put it at 101 attack. It's going over the bar. I didn't think that was even possible. I'm not done complaining. Really. Still needs more. Oh, I should have meant to check the other page, too. Alright. So, everything but... You know, I'm thinking I'm, like, just taking care of the... Yes. Yeah, let's, let's just take care of, uh... Stonebreaker while we have Stonebreaker stuff. It may take a while, but we definitely gonna... Definitely gonna get there. We've broken the triple attack... Or the triple digit barrier. On a sword. I mean, our other characters may have gotten, you know, just high damage stuff given to them, but this weapon's special. I built it myself. I mean, I bought it myself and I built it up from that store bought sword with my own two hands. I never want to lose this sword until I have some, you know, unfair. Bullshit status effect that says your sword will automatically break in five seconds. I'm sure that exists. Just like in Dark Souls. It's time. Time for Ungaga to take the lead. Alright, friend. Wind element it is. If you don't flop. No, seriously, don't flop. Alright, it's only Phantom. This is not bad. You take care of Phantom. Oh, God. Alright, okay, he's definitely got more range than Dan does. That way I can dodge attacks quite easily. I can hit him from out of his attack range. I can just knock him away from me. On. Can he block? I wonder if he can block too. Okay, he can't block. Nice. So much damage this does. Oh my, the deeds! Oh, what the f- Okay, that's why it takes so much Dura. Holy shit! Alright! This boy got the deeps. The only problem with that attack is you have to stand point blank. 
and hope that your, you know, the spin the wind move keeps them stun locked. Damn, okay. I'm sorry I doubted you, Ungaga. I see why you're strong now. Definitely see that. Let's try that again, hold up. Yeah, it burns through so much Dura, though. Like I said, I ain't complaining, though. Well, it looks like you're about to get an upgrade, so I guess we might as well give you something. I guess you can take this. Ow. Yeah, so I just knock you out of range every time you come to attack me. Ah, the counters. The counters! Treasure key, nice. Oh no. Come here. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, you know, I should probably at least see what. Oh, he, this, this can't build up into anything. I wonder if that's even worth, is that even worth putting stuff into then? If it can't be built up in anything, I guess we gotta find this man a new weapon. ASAP. Oh, if you do a point blank, you don't lose any Dura for doing that. sense. It doesn't actually make sense. I just say it makes sense because yeah, that's the way the game works, but you know. I'd well, really love to find this stone slate right by now, though. That'd be nice. I thought I'm trying to rush or anything, but uh, yeah. Though I do have a much, much of an appreciation for this spin attack. That's actually busted, though. Like, but it seems enemies can counter it if they're smart to it. Never mind. I did say if they're smart to it. I mean, that's just the AI at work saying, you know, I'm not gonna run into your attack at all. Found it. Alright, we out of here. Oh, big chest, though. Thorn armlet. Well, that's definitely a uh, ruby item if I've ever seen one. 50 damage! Hold up, that is without anything. Well, so that's your lucky day, Ruby, because you just got given a really, or you got found a really good weapon. Good lord. 50 damage. Seriously? That's without anything. It maxes out at 60. It's crazy. Has all the elements. Oh, you don't even need elements anymore, girl. Jesus. Nice. That's a really good find. And we won't have to replace her weapon for the rest of the damn game. I guess I should, in theory, then make sure that there's, you know, no other big chest around just in case. You know. We're gonna find a new stick and or spear for our friend here. Doesn't look like it. Going to the back floor would be suicide, so we'll be out of here. 